What is up you guys? Welcome to Illumination Lab. My name is Justin and today we're going to set up a promotional shot for a product called Honey Tree. In this video, we're going to set up our scene, cameras, bring in our label and find a way to both display this product and do it in an aesthetic manner. I'm excited for this one. This is going to be a fun one today. So without further delay, let's get into it. All right, so jumping right into Cinema 4D here. So we have kind of a simple scene here. I have both of our plane and then a cream jar that we got from Grayscale Gorilla. So we're just going to kind of use this jar to put our label on. So to start off, what I'm going to do is just kind of get in perspective. And then I'm just going to grab a Redshift camera. And then let me just kind of hop in here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of change this focal length to about 200. Now, the reason why we are doing this is because we are essentially compressing our perspective. So with a longer focal length, compressing the scene essentially reduces the distortion. So essentially what that means is we're making the product appear more natural and proportional. So which is usually more desirable in like product photography and kind of gives off a clean and polished appearance. So that's why we're just going to kind of push this up to 200. There is a few other reasons as well too. Usually around like that 200 length as well, it kind of mimics more high-end professional product photography. And so that is kind of the goal here. So we're just going to leave it at 200 and then just kind of play around with this real quick. I just want to kind of get a general idea. Of course, we'll probably change this once we establish a few more assets within the scene, but I think right here will be fine. Next up, we're just going to bring in the render view here, and I'm just going to kind of lock that into my Redshift camera. So looking pretty good. So next up, what I'm going to do is just bring in a dome light. Uh, dome light is going to be kind of your, your foundational light here, especially with doing product shots. And then what I'm going to do is just select our camera here, and then I'm just going to go over to optical and then bring down our jar here and turn on bokeh. So with this, we're just going to kind of, kind of change the depth of field of this. So we'll kind of play around with that maybe here a little bit later, but I just want to kind of turn that on for now. Next up, I'm just going to go over into our dome lights and I'm just going to change the color here. I'm just going to kind of change the color to more of a, just kind of a lighter blue. We'll kind of use that to kind of start out with. And then what I'm also going to do is just kind of reduce down this plane here. And then that's what we're going to do is just jump over to Grayscale Gorilla. And then they have a few different backdrops here. And so I'm just going to find something that kind of encompasses the entire scene here. And so I think this one, like a quarter dome would work well. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty, pretty big here. So let me actually rotate this here. Let me actually just kind of bring this down a little bit. I want a little bit of a curve, so we're just going to kind of keep that there. And then I'm just going to kind of bring this over. So our product is essentially right next to that curve there. And uh, with this, I'm just doing that for more aesthetic reasons. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I kind of like having that curve there. Next up, I'm going to bring in a area light. We're going to establish a second light source here. So I'm just going to bring this back. And I kind of like this because you have this really nice highlight on the left here. And then you have this nice shadow uh, that is kind of trailing off to the right side. So we'll kind of start with that. Of course, like I said, when we kind of bring in more assets, we'll just kind of play around with this. And next up, I'm just going to go to Grayscale Gorilla again. 
and then what i'm going to do is just find some sort of texture for the top of our lid here just because with our label our label is going to wrap around this entire jar and so we're really not going to see most of this jar so i'm just going to kind of grab that top label and just kind of make it rather simple here So I'm just going to open up our knoll here that is the jar. And then I'm just going to put this material on top of our lid. And then in our render view, you can see that has changed here. So next up, I'm just going to type in honey. And this would work fine. Again, like I said, we're really not going to kind of see the bottom of the jar. So we'll just kind of apply this here just in case we want to kind of change it in the future. We can always do that as far as like the size of the label goes. So I'll just put that honey there for now and then we'll kind of see how this goes. And then I'm just going to type in white and maybe we can get some sort of nice reflective white here that we could use on the backdrop, but we'll see here. And then as far as our label goes, what I'm going to do is just kind of jump into Canva and just kind of find something rather simple for this. I didn't necessarily make this, but I was able to go in, edit it a little bit just for this example here. So it's real easy to import. Uh, usually what I do is I just grab some sort of PNG or some sort of file uh, that I need to display and then I just have some sort of redshift material and then I just attach uh, that PNG to the redshift material and it's it's pretty straightforward too so if you want to see a video on that let me know I could definitely put that out here but for this instance we're just going to kind of push forward so here is the label so i brought it in here i also brought in a spotlight as well too and then we added this nice little bumblebee material here that is uh, quite nice it's nice and reflective i thought for some sort of honey jar having some sort of yellows would really uh, help out with kind of making this pop out a little bit more especially with most of our materials being black and the label being black that yellow backdrop really helps the label kind of pop out even more here so and then this spotlight kind of gives off kind of a a white light here so let's just go in and change that let's do more of a yellow here actually we'll do more of like an like an orange here let's see yeah, let me do more of a dark orange and then really kind of push up the exposure just to kind of see what that looks like. I just want to kind of reduce down the amount of white light that's coming out. Actually, that will be good there. And then just to experiment a little bit within Grayscale Gorilla, they have these really interesting soap textures here. So let's just bring that in just to kind of see uh, what that may look like. Yeah, something like that. And I think the difference in material is actually quite nice because you have this really nice like matte finish as far as the ground goes. And then you also have this nice glossy yellow. And then of course, as I move our backdrop here, you can kind of see how the light is affected within the scene since you have this really nice curve here so there's a few different directions we can go into of course there's not a specific answer it's kind of more up to your creative decision but i think having something close like that would be pretty cool i do like that because you do have this really nice highlight on the left and then you have these really nice shadows on this backdrop area as well so I think that is really nice. And then you kind of have the product kind of more towards the right side. So having that is kind of a unique perspective. And then depending on if you need any sort of lettering or just typography in general, you could kind of put that off to the left side since the product is over on the right. So I think that's a pretty cool perspective. And then actually what we could do is just hop into Redshift here 
and then we can try to find some sort of tree that is yellow here i think that will be kind of nice since this product is called honey tree i thought maybe bringing in some sort of yellow tree would be quite nice uh, you do have a lot of options here as far as different uh fall type trees so let's just snag this one here and just kind of see how this is all right so it loaded up here so what i'm going to do is just take this and drag this down and then what we're going to do is just kind of take the top of these leaves here and then just kind of move it around just so we can kind of have that in the background and already that looks pretty cool there we have this really nice fall leaves and then of course we have our camera set up to kind of focus in on our product even more so that is quite nice there let me just go over and just turn off some of these lights here just so I can kind of see within the viewport here. And then what I'm going to do is, since this label is a little off center, I'm just going to turn it more towards the camera here. And then I'm just going to go over to our actual camera here and then just kind of play with this number here. And as I play with this number here, our leaves are a little less in focus. And so that's a really nice look here where we have our main product in focus. And then you have these really nice abstract looking leaves here. So I think actually right around at negative 22 is kind of where I like. Uh, you have kind of a haziness when it comes to these leaves here, but you could still make them out. So I think we're going to stick with that next up what i'm going to do is just go over to our area lights and click exclude here and then i'm just going to select the jar and really what i'm looking for is uh just for this light to kind of highlight the back here and to kind of interact with these leaves and then I want to use a different light to really enhance our product here. So I'm just going to go to Redshift again, drop down to the lights here, and then we're just going to do a spotlight. So I'm just going to pull that back. Kind of play around with this. And I'm going to bring this up and move this over. I'm going to rotate our lights. And then just kind of move this over towards our product. And actually, I kind of like highlighting these leaves a little bit more of course we could kind of leave this on the product but i actually like kind of highlighting these leaves here and just having another source uh let me see here let me just bring this up just to see what that looks like uh that's a little blown out here so let me just drop it down to one let me just turn off the area light just to see what this does i'm just going to kind of move this around to see what this does here let me just crank this up to a two and actually i like that quite a bit here it's a really nice light here uh, especially coming from that back right side and it kind of illuminates coming from the top right going to the bottom left so it's it's kind of nice here and then what i'm going to do which will be pretty cool here is if we go into our settings and then just kind of turn on bloom here and then move this over and so as we kind of play with this we can kind of get this nice uh, bloom effect here uh, where it, it makes 
the light a little bit softer and a little bit kind of brighter as well more kind of bringing out that that honey glow look so i like that there and then we can even go in and change the lights and kind of see how that is i think kind of a like almost like a let's see now i think more of a white would be fine here and then let me just kind of play around with this threshold i think right there might be good but yeah i mean pretty straightforward pretty simple as well too it's just kind of bringing in just similar elements and really playing with uh, both lighting and colors as well actually what we could do is just bring in another spotlight and then have something like this where you have something that's really glowing if you just want to go for that a kind of glow effect uh so you can always kind of play around with it depending on your own creativity or if you work with clients what they want uh, within the scene here so yeah you have tons of really cool options you just kind of have to play around with it or just kind of think about it in general um what i do is i just kind of experiment during the process and i find some really cool effects that way so feel free to kind of play around with the scene uh, and you might accidentally find something that was a lot better than what you originally planned for so but that was it for this one pretty short here uh <laughs> compared to my my other videos here let's hop into the wrap-up section and we'll kind of go over these renders here so all right so jumping into our wrap-up portion we have these two renders here that i like quite a bit this first one i like uh, just because it, I think it has a nice composition. You have this really nice depth where uh, our product is uh, crystal clear. And then we have more of our, our hazy leaves here uh, with that nice bloom effect. So you kind of get this, this nice yellow golden pop here. So I like this quite a bit. And then our second one here, what I did was I kind of moved the tree around and I actually put the product within the tree and then played around with the lighting just to kind of see what we have. So again, kind of a unique perspective here or, or just composition in general. Our leaves are a little bit more in focus, but still our, our focal point is the product here. So again, just something really simple, uh, something you can actually bring together quite quickly and then like you said, depending on what the product is or what your client wants, you can always kind of play around with it and just just find something that's that's both visually aesthetic and something kind of unique and creative. So, but that was pretty much it for this one. Definitely let me know what you guys think. I actually had a lot of fun with this one. Like I said before, if you want me to kind of go a little bit more in depth onto how to bring in different PNGs or bring in uh, different labels and adjust it, definitely let me know. Um, but other than that, that's the end of the video. You guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.